Hello, welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Thursday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time and uh, July 25th, the feast day of St. James the Apostle. Now there were two James who were apostles, uh, James the Greater and James the Lesser. This is James the Greater. Now the only reason that they gave him the title the Greater is because he was the first of the two James to join Jesus group his apostles he was the first one mentioned in scripture and then the second James came along so the the moniker uh, greater and lesser were given to them had nothing to do with stature size uh, importance anything else uh, just uh, he was the, the one. He was the brother of John, the apostle, the beloved apostle John. Now James was gifted to be witness to the transfiguration along with his brother and Peter and the miracle of the daughter of Jairus. The three apostles there were, uh, you know, Peter, James, and John. So he uh, he did have sort of a a special privilege, if you will, as as an apostle. He was martyred uh, by Herod Agrippa, and not only was he martyred, but at his trial for being a Christian, the prosecuting attorney, if you will, that was, you know, charged with uh, the case against James, was so taken by James' testimony that he converted on the spot and was martyred along with James. That's powerful. Our readings today in the Gospel from Matthew, we hear the, the encounter with James and John's mother and the brothers and Jesus, where the mother approaches Jesus and says, you know, can my son sit at your right and at your left in in God's kingdom and uh, you know that's just the, the wrong uh, spiritual state to be in to be looking for something for yourself um, so that that got corrected I you know I'm certain that that did Jesus teaches them that you know they have to be humble and, and they have to be servants if they want to be the greatest they have to be the least in Mark's account of that story, we don't hear the mother. We just see James and John. And then Jesus, at, in Mark's gospel, sets the child in front of them and says, you have to be humble like a child. So um, in our lives, too, we, we humble ourselves before the Lord. You know, our first reading today from Paul's letter to uh, I believe the Corinthians, I, I'd have to look back, but he says some beautiful things about human life and how human life is, no matter who you are and what status you might have that you're born into, human life, you're going to encounter suffering, suffering of one kind or another, all of us, to one degree or another, we all are going to suffer. And it's important for us to understand that looking at the same thing that we saw in the gospel, not thinking about ourselves, but when we join our sufferings to the sufferings of Christ, it benefits not only us, but all souls, everybody, because we are the body of Christ. We are one, and what one does affects the other. And so when we join our life, not just our sufferings, but our successes, our joys, our whole self, when we join with our Lord in union with him and with his suffering and death as well, it benefits the whole body of Christ. It, 
it makes the whole body healthier, holier. So my friends, when we pray, when we offer little things up to our Lord, we're benefiting so many others that we don't even think about or realize, but that's the fact, that when we live a life in union with the will of God, our lives benefit all lives. So continue to pray, continue to offer up your little sufferings to our Lord, and keep all of us happier, healthier, and holier. Amen, right? Let us pray our evening prayer, shall we? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became fearful and began to tremble. This is in Gethsemane on Holy Thursday after the Last Supper. I trusted even when I said I am sorely afflicted, and when I said in my alarm no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us in this life. We fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall even now taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. Jesus took Peter, James, and John with him, and he became fearful and began to tremble. Then he said to them, Stay awake and pray that you may not be tempted. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice which we have sown in tears grow and increase in your sight. May we reap and enjoy the harvest we hope for patiently. Then he said to them, Stay awake and pray that you may not be tempted. King Herod began persecuting certain members of the church. He beheaded James, the brother of John. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. 
In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. King Herod began persecuting certain members of the church. He beheaded James, the brother of John. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Christ gave apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers in roles of service for the faithful to build up the body of Christ till we become one in faith and in the knowledge of God's Son and form that perfect man who is Christ come to full stature. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Make known his wonders to every people, how glorious God is. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you must be the slave of all. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you must be the slave of all. My brothers and sisters, we build on the foundation of the apostles. Let us pray to our Almighty Father for his holy people and say, Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Father, you wanted your Son to be seen first by the apostles after the resurrection from the dead. We ask you to make us his witnesses to the farthest corners of the world. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to preach your good news to the poor. Help us to preach this gospel. To every creature. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to sow the seed of unending life. Grant that we who work at sowing the seed may share the joy of the harvest. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. You sent your Son to reconcile all to you through his blood. Help us all to work toward achieving this reconciliation. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. Your son sits at your right hand in heaven. Let the dead enter your kingdom of joy. Be mindful of your church, O Lord. And now let us pray as the Lord told us. Told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty Father, by the martyrdom of St. James, you bless the work of the early church. May his profession of faith give us courage and his prayers bring us strength. 
We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. A great night, everyone. And uh, let's pray that we're given another day to do this again. God bless you all.